My name is uh, Mike Slowick uh, with Click Materials. Uh, I'm leading uh, business development. Curtis Berlinget is the, uh, the CEO and, uh, and co-founder. We are commercializing uh, disruptively low cost electrochromic windows for a wide variety of applications that include uh, residential, commercial, and automotive uh, markets. Um, electrochromic windows are smart windows, are windows that go from clear to tinted with the press of a button, uh, voice activation, or uh, using a building, building management system. Some of you may have seen this technology on uh, select uh, airplanes or in uh, high-rise uh, luxury buildings, but in general, the, the market penetration is very limited because they're so expensive. What we're doing is commercializing a significantly reduced cost process to make these uh, widely available across several different markets. You can see here, uh, we estimate uh, a 60% reduction in manufacturing costs relative to uh, incumbent technologies, along with performance advantages. We have validated the technology at the pilot scale uh, to make these thin films, which is at the heart of the technology. We are an early stage company. Uh, last uh, summer, we closed a seed round, um, and later this year, we'll be going out to raise a series A round um, to further prove and de-risk this uh, you know, with a pilot plant in-house. Um, and we did uh, recently in Q1 announce a, a development partnership with a major glass manufacturer to more quickly commercialize the technology. Here's a snapshot of our current team. Uh, we are based in uh, Vancouver, uh, have about uh, 10 employees right now, led by uh, Curtis Berlinguet, who is an expert in thin film development, material science, material science and chemical engineering. I'm uh, Mike Slowick, leading business development. Uh, this is my third uh, startup uh, in the physical science material space with the previous two uh, being acquired by Strategics. And our director of technology, Flavio Campagnara, uh, he has worked with multiple startups as well, building and operating pilot plants. Um, and uh, we think we have the, the foundation for a, a good team here to uh, continue to, to grow the technology and the company. So smart window benefits, um, there, there's several. They, uh, by controlling the, uh, the tint of the windows, you can maximize the sunlight in the winter and minimize it in the summer to get significant energy savings benefits. Additionally, workers uh, and employees that have exposure to natural light during the day, uh, studies have shown them to be uh, significantly more relaxed more energized, more productive, and in better mood. So there's uh, multiple aspects to the value proposition uh, for these windows being installed in, in residential and commercial settings. Buildings are a major energy consumer. Uh, this pie chart here is data from just the US uh, uh, markets, the Department of Energy. You can see when you look at the transportation industrial and building sectors, that buildings are the largest component of energy usage. Uh, and when you further break that down to residential and commercial, uh, space heating, space cooling, and lighting are three major components. And these smart windows, depending on geography, can reduce energy needs by 30% for heating, cooling, and lighting. We see a massive market potential of greater than $20 billion for this technology that can make low cost smart windows across the commercial, residential, automotive, and other markets as well. Uh, because the process operates at ambient conditions, uses, uh, it requires low capex uh, and opex, and has, uh, the process has high yields. Looking at some of the macroscopic drivers be, uh, behind this, uh, in the residential sector, there's significant uh, interest in uh, bringing the smart, home, smart windows to the smart homes uh, smart homes are estimated to be a $90 billion market by 2023 as more devices get connected in the home with uh, connectivity and voice activation. Um, and you can see the Amazon Echo skills there on the top right uh, with those skills increasing significantly. Uh, we think that's a major opportunity to have uh, windows controlled via voice activation or um, other products in the household. In the commercial sector, uh, there's massive investments, obviously, in the prop tech uh, through uh, venture capital, but then also 
uh, uh, various cities uh, having greenhouse reduction targets that are very aggressive to encourage energy uh, emissions uh, reductions uh, in the future. And we expect that to uh, uh, be adopted by other cities as well. There is a COVID play here uh, in addition, uh, being able to eliminate uh, blinds and window coverings that are uh, touched by uh, workers on the regular basis. Uh, if that can be made uh, in automated or voice activated, uh, so there's uh, fewer touch points in both the residential and commercial markets, uh, we're getting that uh, feedback that that's of interest. In the automotive industry, um, these have the potential to extend the battery range of EVs by about 10 to 20 percent because they can more effectively reduce the air conditioning requirements uh, of EVs in the summer. Um, and additionally, there's uh, ride sharing autonomous vehicle trends that are uh, continually putting the focus on the passenger experience and windows getting bigger. Um, and, and we feel that plays into uh, the technology of smart windows as well. The problem that we're addressing is that the way these windows, these smart windows are made today, uh, it's a very complex and capital intensive process. Here you can see a picture of one of the coating lines that can be one to 200 yards long that's required to make these very precise thin films. So it's, it's a very expensive process and the windows that come off at the end of the line, uh, they can have uh, uh, poor yields and defects in some cases. Our process that we're using, uh, that, that was developed and we're commercializing, uses ambient conditions at room temperature and room pressure to apply the coatings, followed by a curing step. So it is uh, readily available equipment uh, that's inexpensive. And we have third party estimates that uh, suggest it'll be about 60% lower than uh, some of the incumbent processes. These are pictures of uh, some pilot plant work that we did at a third party uh, vendor to validate our approach where we spray on the solution onto the windows of a continuous process. Um, and then after it gets sprayed on, it gets cured. And you can see from uh, the employees there that this is done at room temperature and room pressure. This equipment is readily available and used in the glass industry and other high volume applications. And uh, we're looking to bring this in-house uh, later this year uh, as we uh, build and operate our own pilot unit. These are some pictures of the results of those initial application development um, that we'll be bringing in-house later this year to show full-size prototypes. As we look forward, we are getting um, specific requests from customers to make uh, you know, various custom attributes, whether it's uh, the color of the tint on the window or the switching time to go from clear to tinted. For some applications, people want that to be uh, reduced. And so we have a self-driving robot application that we can use to customize some of the properties of the windows that our customers are asking for. Uh, additionally, uh, our process works very well uh, on the right there for flexible substrates like PET and polycarbonates to add additional functionality to those plastics. And we're getting uh, interest from customers to apply our process to plastic substrates uh, and make them electrochromic. Last slide here, our growth path. We did a seed round last summer uh, that helped us establish a foundational partnership, uh, allowed us to demonstrate large prototypes and validated the pilot equipment we plan to use. Uh, we are looking to raise a Series A uh, later this year in Q3 that we'll use to build and operate a pilot unit in-house to launch an initial product with our pilot line. Um, and then uh, at the end of our A, we expect to have designs for a small uh, commercial facility uh, and if there's uh, anyone that's interested, we'd be happy to chat and, uh, and, and tell you uh, more details about our, our process and commercialization plans.